Ronald, we're back after what seemed like another positive international break. How have the squad reported back? Ah, oh, very good. Uh, without uh, uh, the, the the Shane, uh, of course, the the injury of Shane is uh, is a disappointment. But okay, uh, it's an ankle ligaments, and uh, he will be out for maybe two till four weeks. That's a disappointment, but. Uh, the rest of the players happy, happy back and uh, successful back. Uh, Stephen Davis, qualification for Northern Ireland, uh, the Europeans uh, scoring two goals. And Pelle, uh, again, uh, uh, very important for the national team of Italy. Now the qualification of Portugal and... Uh, and I don't talk about Holland. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to ask you about Stephen Davis in particular because it has been such a memorable couple of weeks for him. And he sometimes is a bit underrated for, for many fans and, and pundits. How much of an importance does he have on your team? Oh, I think uh, from the beginning uh, that Stephen uh, played for Southampton. The people inside recognise his, uh, his strengths, his importance, what, what the player is. And... Uh, it's not uh, always uh, a player who uh, his pres presentation is with a lot of words, but but his his experience, his view of the game, his, his personality are very important for the team. And Graziano as well. You've touched on him. He's the top scorer in the Premier League with Italy and and with Southampton now. Do you really sense that he's got a real confidence and belief now? Every time he goes out, he's going to score goals. Yeah, but but I think he, he Graziano is showing this on 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 a very high level. I worked uh, in Holland with Graziano, and and he was very good. He was very strong, but only maybe one small doubt about can he do the same on the Premier League level, and uh, and he is showing that already uh, from the start of, of last season but with the experience what uh, what he get from uh, first season Premier League he's still better than he was and, and, and important for the team in the way how we play football it's really uh, a target man who keep the ball who is strong and, and, and also scoring goals and, and uh, I think that's the best of Graziano what we see uh, till so far. Preparations can always be quite tough after an international break going into the game on a Saturday. But have you got all your squad back available from Thursday? And does that help in having a couple of days to prepare? Yeah, OK, we, we have the experience. Uh, we have the experience from last year that we have uh, every international duty. We, uh, we have 14, 15, 16 players out. And, uh, and you know when they come back. The, 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 it's a small preparation to the game on Saturday, and uh, but they 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 are back and and they they know what what we like to do and 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 two training sessions uh, to prepare the game uh, the Leicester game and and no problem. Another positive from the international break was Jordi Klazi getting some minutes against Ajax last week. Just how pleased were you to see him back in the uh, back on the pitch? Oh, very pleased because uh, we like to have everybody available. Uh, that's the question because that makes uh, more 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 possibilities for the manager. Sometimes more difficult because you have to make decisions. In in the first decision will be the first eleven then uh, the people, the substitutes on the bench and, and now little by little we make, uh, we have to make big decisions to let people out of the 18 uh, on the list for the, for the game. And, uh, but uh, in, in that case Jordi is back, uh, he had 60 minutes against the friendly, against the Ajax and, and he's really back on his level and, and can be important from Saturday on. How disappointed were you for him? Because it was in his first game with the club that he picked up that first injury and then another one for the under-21s. It's been a, a tough start for him in England, which can, can really affect him adapting to life here. Yeah, that's, that's, that's always more difficult uh, because uh, you change your family, uh, you change the country, uh, you get new teammates and then you will be involved in the training sessions. And he was unlucky. He was unlucky the first time, maybe about the... The game against Vitesse, he wasn't uh, really maybe 100% to play that game from the start, but uh, the last one in the under-21 20, under is really a football injury, unlucky, and uh, 
happy that he is back because that's the best to be part of the team on the pitch. If not, it's always more difficult. On to Leicester then. What sort of test are you expecting at St Mary's on Saturday? A tough one because uh, they have a very good, strong start of the season and uh, they play uh, with a very high intensity and we have to prepare for that because uh, we, we don't get time to play. We have to be really focused uh, from the start uh, on this Saturday. But we play home and uh, if we bring uh, on a good, positive way our confidence, what we got against uh, Chelsea and, and, and the belief, really to show the belief what we can do if everybody is really focused uh, on the pitch, then, then OK, I'm, I'm, I'm confident uh, for a good win. They seem to like to attack and play attacking football. Do you feel like your side may be able to get a lot of space going forward themselves on Saturday? Yeah, but, but I think uh, the best quality of the Leicester is, is, is that they play counter-attack because they have uh, two fast uh, forwards like Fardy and like uh, the Japanese Ashoku uh, player and, and, and that's difficult. That needs, if we attack, if we have the ball, our defensive organization organization has to be good and that's important. Their start to the season has led to a few people saying that they're, they're similar to Saints in a way that they've gone through the leagues and, and are really showing what they can do in the Premier League now. Yeah, OK, they, they have to, uh, the experience from last year, the first year in the Premier League and they learn of that. Uh, they have a new manager. I think uh, Rainier is a very experienced manager who, who gives them, the players, the team really that confidence, that focus and that defensive organisation, what they need.